this is the last part of the uh, of the series of videos in which I'm trying to demonstrate to people and to actually show it in interactive ways how I'm actually doing uh, uh, classification in OpenCV, classification of videos in real-time uh, classification of sequences of images. Uh, now, basically what we've built so far is a bunch of XML files. You see the stages here, stage 10, stage 11, stage 12. These are just uh, temporary files, not really necessarily the ones you, you, you're interested in. Uh, which are being built as you improve the classification, you do it in different stages. The final XML file, the, the one which is of interest, is not going to have a number at the end of it, or at least unless you actually gave it a file and you know, if you're interested in having uh, some digits in it, uh, it's just basically going to be the uh, XML that's a final one. In my case, if I'm looking at the XML files that I have, um, just a second, right, so these are the files that I have, you can see the file sizes in here. So there is a file it's going to be a final one and it's usually going to be cascade.xml okay so cascade.xml is the final file you're interested in and this file is going to be used by OpenCV libraries or OpenCV interfaces in all sorts of ways as a data file by which to make a decision on whether you know something is matching your targets or whatever so what I would do is I'll just skip very quickly to Eclipse and like I said it might not apply to you depending on how you're developing things. Uh, the way I work through this I basically specify the file as you can see in here it's an XML file and there is a point at which I go to uh, a resource what's called in Android you use it as a resource uh, whether it's Java or Dalvik or whatever the way they put it is there is a, a directory called uh, raw and inside raw you put your data file XML in this case, you don't even put the XML. It's just going to load the file and assume the XML extension. And once you've uploaded that, uh, once you loaded the file, you want to make a function call later on to let me just find it uh, to a function called detect multiscale, which is part of the class called mcascade. That's the way it works in Android. If you want to use your classifier, and then you can just draw a rectangle.